I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. A merry lit, at least on the outside. Now that's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you if you appreciate us uh, assisting you in passing the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about the gospel, keeps us a rolling. Nice catch. Lent, Ash Wednesday, brings the gospel lesson, Matthew 6. When you fast, not if you fast, not if you get around to fasting, not if you're Roman Catholic and fast, no, but when you fast, when, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, you have they have received the reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees what is hidden will reward you. Lent isn't a gloomy time. I know, uh, especially Lutherans, we love Lent. Lent lets us do, be the people that we've always wanted to be. They're Germans and they're grumpy. Mm. This is the season in which we get to mm, get that face on that we're used to. That's not what's going on in Lent. And Lent isn't about your sacrifices that you're making for God. Oh, I gave up sugars. Don't be around me. I gave up coffee. Don't talk to me in the morning. I, it's in Lent. I, I'm grumpy. No, when you fast, when you do your Lent, when, when the Lord does his Lent for you, don't disfigure your face. Don't, don't grimace it. Don't be in such a bad place when it comes to, to fasting that, you, uh, that everybody knows you're fasting. No. When you fast, be merry. Be happy. Your Lent is happy. Your Lent is merry. It's joyful. It's nobody knows that you're in Lent. And your Father who sees what is secret will reward you. If your Lent is all about your sacrifice for God and how much you've given up and how much you're doing for God and how much you're you're changing for God, well, then that feeling you get about how much you've done is your full reward. Oh, hole in one, man. Uh, but if your Lent is all about Jesus and what he did for you, and your fasting is all about getting you out of the way so that you can be more on the receiving end of his gifts, then there is just no end to the joy. Because repentance is joyful. Having your hands emptied of your sins is joyful. Having your, your heart freed from its, its, its sadness and bondage is joyful. Because it, this is about Jesus. Him for you. The prophet Joel says it this way, rend your heart and not your garments. And so your Lenten repentance is not something that goes on outside of you. It's something that goes on inside of you. The Lord reaches into your heart and he pulls it out. It's like something out of a, a Indiana Jones movie. Thump, 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 thump. Uh. Oh, he pulls it out of you and, 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 and drains all the sin from it and all the black darkness from it and puts it back into you brand new. So that you can live now free and forgiven. No longer worried about, am I going to go to heaven or hell? No longer worried and thinking about what sin is going to damn you. No. The Lord is clearing all, that, all of that out of you in Lent and leaving you nothing but givable to. And for those of you who are like, but Lent is about the sacrifice of Jesus and I'm going to be somber in the sacrifice of Jesus. Be somber on the inside. Be joyful on the outside because that's what Jesus says. This isn't something that I've all of a sudden made up. Now, now Borgard's telling us, you know, to be happy in Lent. Now, I've never heard that before. Now, don't listen to me. Listen to Jesus. Matthew 6, 6, 16 to 18. Listen to Jesus. This is the deal that I, this is the common complaint for uh, some of our brothers and sisters in other churches when it comes to Lent. They're like, I thought fasting was supposed to be secret. Yes, it is. And so, you know, let it be secret. Lent for you should be like Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is that you don't talk about Fight Club. The first rule of Lenten fasting is you don't talk about Lenten fasting. 
Now, if you want to talk about your Lenten fasting, that's great. I don't really care, but know that that feeling you get from that them knowing what you're doing, that's your reward. But if your Lent is inside of you, the rending of your heart by God, the you making your um, making your um, your heart ready for His coming to you, His raising from the dead on Easter. Well, then there's just no end of the joy that you have in the repentance of your sins. And not in a law way, but in a gospel way. This is clearing the way for him to be my Good Friday and Easter by getting everything out of the way. We'll be having a whole season to talk about this. It's enough now to say, look here, buddy. Oh, it was my bad toss. Lent is about Jesus for you. And your fast in Lent, your secret one, on the inside is all about making it ready for his making your heart ready for his good Friday and Easter making it more ready for it to all be about him losing and dying to everything you think about Lent and making it more his being your God talk about this more on Friday Pastor George Barkhart and my big dog Lord. and this has been another Higher Things video short 